Well, the time has come for me to make an announcement. It's over. I've been wanting to say this for a while now, and I've been praying about it and things, but uh, it's time to just tell the truth. It's it's over. Say the, the ministry? Oh, my, no. The ministry's not over. Uh, the uh, property thing is over. I just had to do a little bit, you know, a thing there, you know, clickbait type of deal, you know, it's, it's over and all my enemies will come be like, he's going to quit. No, I'm not going to quit. <laughs> it's like, he's, he admitted the clickbait. Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything because I'm not monetized. So your views don't mean anything. I don't make any money. So, you know, I'm just trying to be sarcastic and just, you know, kind of keep things going and stuff, you know, get, you know, put some more hot coals upon their, my enemies' heads and things like that, you know. I hope you get saved. I hope you get right. I hope you believe the book. You know, most of you won't because you got too much pride and you, you, you know, you hate my guts. And anything I say, you'll do the opposite. So, uh, you know, whatever. But for those of you out there that are praying, um, the property finally sold. Signed all the papers off. I wanted to wait until I was absolutely sure. Make sure the check goes through and the whole deal. So um, our property in Littleton, uh, it is a done deal. It is over. Um, I, it looked for a little bit. Uh, I mean, the, the bank down there, um, it, they were just doing everything that they could to stall this thing. And I mean, it was it was you know almost two months past the closing, the original closing date, that we finally had closure on this whole thing. I mean, it was absurd, absolutely absurd. Even the the lawyer that I uh, went in and, and did the paperwork with, he he just looked at me and he's like. You know, I'm, I'm sure you're glad that this is over. And I said, yeah. And he's like, it's ridiculous why it went that long. But whatever. Um, so uh, it's kind of a bittersweet thing, you know, because, you know, I put a lot of time into that property over there. But we're moving forward. Um, we uh, basically are looking at another property, um, put an offer on it and things like that. And it's looking like we're probably going to be getting it. Um, and we're excited because I'm going to just kind of just say something here for the future. Uh, there's a possibility that we're going to be able to do some um, things with our new property where we're going to be able to actually meet with people more on a, on a you know, public type of a thing. Um, it's, it's still early on. I'm not going to say any kind of plans or anything at this point. But um, one of the big problems that we've had here is this is a temporary place. We have like no room here. I mean, we barely have enough room for our own things, much less somebody trying to come and visit with us and whatever. Um, and our other property over there was like we couldn't build on it. It was just continual hindrance. Um, but the new property, it's there's no right of ways going into it and whatever else. Um, we're going to be able to uh, help people that need help. You know, if there's somebody that's that's in a desperate situation, um, be able to. You know, I know a lot of you have said you know we'd like to come visit you sometime. The chance for that's going to be a lot better. Still, it's bare land. We're going to have work to do and things like that. But I'm really anxious. Um, the uh, closing forward is this month, so I'm not going to say anything more on that. But um, we'll keep people posted what's going on. But uh, we will be moving uh, down south of here a little ways. And um, so that's what's going on right now. And uh, it has been a emotional roller coaster ride this whole thing is selling the our property that we had bought with the intention of building on it um it's just been a really 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 crazy time and i at one point in time i said to my wife because we were talking about it the one morning and i remember i said to her you know the frustration comes because we can't understand we can't see out into the future we see through a glass darkly the bible says um you know first corinthians 13 and we see out into the future and we can't understand it. And we question God's will sometime. And, I'll, and I'm going to be very honest. I got downright angry a couple times at the Lord and just really was saying, Lord, what are you doing? I don't understand this. Your word says this and this and that. And, and, I, and I can't fulfill my duties as a husband and father. And even in ministry, I'm having problems. And, you know, it, it's just all the stuff that's happening. And I got mad a couple times. Because I just, I, I'm like, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying to question you or, or charge you foolishly. I just don't understand. I'm only a man. Please have mercy on me. I'm only a man. I don't understand why this thing is happening. But I made the statement. I said, we can't see out into the future to know. But you can stand here and you can look back 
through the past and you can look at what the Lord's done and say, yeah, he's been in it the whole time. He's led, he's directed the whole time. And if you're in a situation, I know many of you are, where you're looking out the future and it looks bleak and you're just going like, Lord, what are you doing? I don't understand. I mean, what am I supposed to do? And you're confused and whatever else. Take a moment to turn around and look behind you and look at all the things the Lord has kept you from doing that would have been harmful and hurtful to you. Again, I can look back and see different places we tried to get, different times we tried to, you know, do things and whatever else with getting out of this weird property situation that we've been in now for years. I can look back now at the time, you know, looking forward, I didn't understand why it was happening. Now I can look back and I can say, okay, I see now you taught us that there and you taught us this here and you taught us that there and whatever. I can see it. And, you know, praise the Lord. Um, we ser serve a God that is outside of time and it gets real frustrating sometimes because it's just like, Lord, if we could just see a little bit of, you know, the future, you can just kind of like let us know a few things and, and, uh, just like, nope. <laughs> you know, uh, and that's where faith comes in. The just shall live by faith. We have to trust Him and say, okay, Lord, your word isn't real clear, crystal clear on what's, what you want me to do on such and such subject or whatever else. Should I move? Should I stay? Should I, where should I move to or whatever else? Um, what should I do here? And sometimes it'll seem like the Lord is just silent and you're not hearing from Him. And you're going like, Okay, uh, what do you want me to do, Lord? Can I hear from you, please? And he'll wait. And that can get frustrating sometimes. But never forget to look back and say, For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. They all work together for good. And you get yourself into a bad situation, it seems like God is being quiet and being silent. Think about how he's led you before and then say, okay, if he's done all that in my past, is he going to continue that work in the future? Yes, he will. Then uh, try not to sweat it, okay? I mean, we have bodies of flesh. You know, the Lord understands our frustrations. He, uh, he can see through that. He can, he can understand. What you don't want to do is just say, okay, you know what? I'm going to put this book down. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to go out and I'm going to do whatever I want in the world. That's when you fall apart. It's one thing to get upset with the Lord and irritated at the Lord and say, Lord, I don't know what you're doing here. I don't know what, why are you doing this? And why? That's one thing. Okay. It's another thing entirely to say, all right, since you've seemed to have forsaken me, Lord, I'm going to forsake you. I'm going to put down this book and I'm going to go do my own thing. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. That's one thing I can say in, the, in the, this whole time of trial and testing and everything else that we've gone through. Um, I've, I've never had that time where I just simply said, I don't want God, I don't want you in my life anymore. I'm just going to be an atheist or something. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, or convert to some other, you know, system or something like that. That ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't care how bad things get or whatever else. I'm not converting to anything else. So, all that to say, I'm going to be taking down the other videos, asking for prayer and things like that, because the prayer has been answered. Um, it's been a long, long journey for us, and uh, we're very, very anxious to get um, uh, to the new property and things like that. And again, you know, I'll be talking more about that in the future as the Lord shows us what He wants to do. But uh, we're really looking at um, having a place, you know, that would be available to people to come and see us and things like that. And um, if, you know, I know that there's some of you out there that you don't want to, I, I, don't, I took my email address down because I was just getting way too many emails and I just can't handle them all. Um, and I don't have my phone number available and things like that. Um, and P.O. Box, some of you don't want to write through P.O. Box. I know some of you are in bad situations and you can't, uh, your, your mail is screened and whatever else. Um, so the only real way that you could ever get in contact with us uh, would be to come and actually meet with us. And uh, that might be a possibility in the future. Um, so 
I will let more details come out about that because, you know, something else I need to say, YouTube is just getting so vexing. Uh, this whole thing of, of just, I mean, people trolling this channel and you know, just coming in and just making so many problems and just like, just go away. You don't even need to watch my videos anymore. I'm some heretic that's headed to hell and my people that watch the videos are headed to hell too. Okay, just go away, you know. I mean, it's, it's insanity. So to be able to get to a place where, you know, we can just be like, okay, you off, you know. I mean, eventually they'll kick me off YouTube anyhow, you know, when the Lord says, okay, time's up. But, um, so we're excited. We're very excited. Um, and we do really, really, really thank all of you out there who have been praying fervently for this thing to happen. Um, you know, it just, <laughs> the hindrances have been very interesting, to say the least. We'll be coming out with some more information on uh, some reasons why there were hindrances. Um, some things the Lord has revealed to us and uh, but that'll be for future type of stuff but uh, just wanted to let everybody know what's going on with the property issue um, it's definitely gone definitely sold uh, praise the Lord and thank you to everybody out there who's praying for us and uh, we'll keep you updated on our future plans and um, I think that's going to be it so that's going to be it thank you for watching